This is a contrast CT scan of the chest in a patient presenting with acute onset of severe chest pain radiating to between the shoulder blades. Uh, we can see on this chest CT that the aorta is extremely abnormal. Uh, there is a dissection flap within the aorta which divides its lumen into two distinct parts. One is the true lumen, which is filled with contrast, and the false lumen, which in this case is filled with thrombus. So this is a patient with an aortic dissection. And in aortic dissection, we need to determine a few things. One is what type of dissection it is. Um, so we determine that by following the dissection to its origin and its termination. In this case, we can see that the dissection extends all the way back to the aortic root, involves the entire length of, length of the ascending thoracic aorta, the aortic arch, and the descending thoracic aorta and abdominal aorta as well. So this is a Stanford type A dissection that involves the ascending thoracic aorta as well as the descending aorta. Secondly, we want tension into the branch vessels, and we can see here that the dissection extends up from the aortic arch to involve the origins of the left common carotid artery and the nominate artery. The left subclavian artery has been spared by the dissection. When we follow it distally, we see that the celiac artery is coming off of the true lumen. Um, although it is a little bit narrowed. And then we come down a little bit further and we see that the superior mesenteric artery also comes off the true lumen. There's a change in the phase of contrast here because of a slight delay in the middle of the scan. But again, this is the true lumen and this is a false lumen. So the right renal artery is coming off of the true lumen and the left renal artery is coming off of the false lumen. Moving further down, we see that the dissection flap also extends into the left common iliac artery. So this is in terms of the extent of the dissection. And then we go back and look for complications. And the complication that is apparent on this scan is that the dissection has leaked into the pericardial space. We can see high density fluid within the pericardial space in the form of hemopericardium. So this is a leaking aortic dissection that has leaked into the pericardial cavity. And if this is left untreated, this could potentially result in tamponade and death. 